uh, we are inviting Elisa because she's a friend of this group. Actually, she was joining our online events from last year. So she started knowing about our events and she was uh, sketching with us. Then very wonderfully, she won um, uh, like uh, a contest with uh, Central Urban Sketchers. There was like a call for reportage work through, or for, of course, Urban Sketching. And Elisa was one of the winners for this season. And she had also a talk on the main show of the International Urban Sketchers. So it's really a great talk and I would encourage you to watch it. We can also share with you the link in the chat if you want. But just saying that uh, Elisa will not only tell us more about her reportage, is you know, a collection of sketches of how a big cruise boat is built because this is part of her work and she's uh, showing us the different phases of this, which is amazing. And from a city like Genoa, where she lives, which is on the sea, that's a wonderful activity to follow. So very fascinating. But also she will tell us about how she tackles the problem of perspective, which personally for me is very difficult. So I, I'm really keen to hear more about it. Okay, thank you. So uh, about the, the reportage, uh, I might say that uh, it's done in this, uh, in the yard that is in Genoa, is a uh, Fincantieri yard. Uh, they are building uh, two ships uh, contemporarily, uh, are two sisters, uh, two twins. Um, they are building uh, the first, they build the first one and then uh, uh, after uh, about six months, they start with the second one. And uh, in, in this moment, they, they have two, two ships uh, that uh, are, uh, one is quite finished and one uh, will be kept outside the dry dock uh, in a few months. So the, the reportage wanted to show how the ship is built. So the, the steam production, the, the assembling of sections, and, um, and it is, is a mix about something that is technical and something that is more uh, artistic. And uh, I decided to, to do it because uh, when I talk with friends, they are uh, curious and surprised about uh, about this uh, this work, and nobody knows. Yeah, I bet, yeah, it's really nobody nice. Knows yeah. what happens inside. So, since uh, people uh, usually can't uh, get inside the yard, and uh, when I when I go for work because I I do interior design for uh, cruise ships, uh, when I go in the yard, usually I have to work. So I don't have time to make drawings uh, like this. And this was the right chance to do something different because I wasn't, uh, I'm not involved <laughs> uh, <laughs> in this construction because uh, uh, I'm doing other projects and uh, uh, it was the right chance because I, I have the time to, to do sightseeing inside yeah. the yard. I, I think this point is really nice. I would like to underlight for, for everybody. This is really something uh, important, in particular now that we don't have the chance to travel a lot and to go very much around. But I think it applies now, but in general, that sometimes we are not used to look around us. And then by sketching, we can see some details so we can give a value to something in a bit different way. So like Elisa works on these constructions for many years now and she's an expert, but she never thought about reporting uh, what are the different phases. And now she finds herself getting into those phases and corners that she never explored before. So it's like discovering yourself and your daily life, which is great. So your mask sketching can help also in this. Sure, it, it is a chance to uh, be curious, to ask, to ask information that you never asked before. Uh, Sometimes uh, you, you find yourself to accept uh, something that you never uh, mm, get, it, get inside uh, the details and yeah. what, what, why is done like this. Uh, uh, so starting talking with people, uh, I, I, um, I learned something about the story or about this uh, shipyard. I went inside the, the building of the offices to see the historical pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the yard also wasn't uh, the same uh, 
uh, centuries before. Uh, the ships uh, were not uh, built uh, inside the dry dock, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a completely different system. And uh, it, you can find the, the pictures about the great liners uh, as Rex that was built here in Genoa in the 30s years. Uh, the Rex was built uh, on a sloped surface, and the the uh, varro <laughs> uh, when, well, when well, the ship gets inside the water, yes, they built the ship uh, on the on the, the, the land, of course. Oh wow, that's yes. and uh, when you flood the ship, um, you, you leave the ship uh, sleep on this uh, this surface. Mm, okay, and then it goes in the water. But I think you have in your reportage part of it. So you have the how it's built, but also how this varo this time when it goes in the water. So yeah, yeah if you I would like to the, to the varo show, yeah. inside the dry dock is not yeah. on the <laughs> surface. Uh, so it, it, it's a, a continuous. Uh, uh, chance to discover something new. Something new, yeah. yeah exactly. It's the right to, to take the chances. Uh, so be curious. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's that's a nice encouragement. Yeah, yeah that's nice. <laughs> Thank so you. I, I can share the screen and show the, the job. Yes, please. In the meantime, I put in the chat the link to the talk that uh, Elisa gave for the USK Talks show. So just in case you want to save it. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's start with this uh, schema that uh, show you as uh, uh, the ship is built uh, piece by piece. So the first one is a, a, a small piece of one deck. A deck is a floor to be clear. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you see this uh, scheme, uh, you can see that uh, this, this small piece, uh, when it is assembled to the other one, is uh, turned up down. Because, uh, so th this is the top that is built. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. So it is turned down and welded on the top of the other piece. One after, after, after the other, you can have a section. So three, four decks, one on the other. And this section are assembled, one close the other one inside the dry dock. So now the ship, when the ship is closed and ready, they leave the, the, the water get inside, the, the ship starts floating and they take out the ship mm -hmm. to the to the sea yeah so what happens in the yard this is a scheme of the plan of the yard here they cut the steel plates the steel plates are moved in another shelter on the side and the, blo the blocks that i showed before are assembled the small blocks. The cranes move the, these blocks in this area where all the pieces are collected and assembled one by one. So when the section is ready, they put inside the dry dock, that is this one, mm -hmm. with the cranes, the tower cranes on the sides. Oh, I so, see, okay. In the next drawings, so when you see the, the big pieces that will be uh, embarked on the ship, you will mm -hmm. see the, these three cranes here that lift up a piece in this position because the cranes move here. Okay. And they pick up the piece here and put in place on the ship. When the ship is finished, goes out and will be put on the quay when uh, here the, the ship is uh, completed. And it starts uh, the, the fittings, uh, the interiors, and everything is put uh, in the, the place. 
Mm-hmm. They start here because otherwise it's too heavy to get out of the indigenous dog. Ca- she can't float. float. Uh, she can't float. So mm, okay. they finish the, the, the fitting on the quay. In the meanwhile, okay. they start a new construction in the in the dry dock. Because <laughs> this never stops, right? How many how many cruises are built per year? Uh, one construction uh, keeps about uh, one year. So oh wow, okay. Now it's very very long. It is a little bit longer. So. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> they have course. about uh, four uh, four months, uh, six months late. Okay. So, this is a view of the... Oh, wow. <laughs> that it is the real one. <laughs> Amazing. This is only a, a <laughs> because uh, you can see the, the ship uh, on the quay is in this position. The dry dock is here with the, the cranes that lift up the pieces. Mm-hmm. You can see these cranes uh, are stronger and bigger because they have mm-hmm. up uh, uh, big pieces. Mm. Uh, these are, you see, uh, more uh, uh, lighter, less strong. Yeah. And here are the shelters where the pieces are built. Okay. No, that's very clear. It's really nice that you took this picture. And yeah, and you sketched it as well. Wow. <laughs> the sketch is a little bit messy. <laughs> it's done on the opposite side, but yeah. the scheme is the same. You see mm-hmm. the shelter here with the pieces that are built inside. Mm-hmm. They lift up with the cranes that move on these beams here. They lift up and position pieces on this uh, area here. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Elise, if I can just interrupt you for a second. Someone is receiving a call, I think, on a phone that is vibrating. Mm-hmm. So if you could take it away from, from your table mm-hmm. or just switch off your, your microphone. Thank you. So oh, here is uh, the, the dry dock with uh, the ship uh, that is uh, younger <coughs> than this one that is at the quay behind the big. Uh, Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Is is this done on an iPad? Yes, this is on the on the iPad with uh, Procreate. Uh, okay. So Beautiful. I like that you add also writing. I think Francesca was commenting about this in the chat. It's really nice that you can put the writing in it and it completes, you know, the the drawing. It's really nice. Sometimes uh, when the mood is Italian, I write. In <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do the same. Sometimes in Italian, sometimes in English. Yeah. <laughs> So what, uh, what here? What happens with the perspective? We, uh, just to talk about perspective here, I want yes. to show everything that happens uh, from uh, the, the the first piece uh, to the dry dock. So I I turned one hundred eighty degrees here. Oh so wow! I started here with mm-hmm. uh, the shelter here. And yeah. I turned it on my position and uh, I did uh, as a camera. Okay, yes, that gives the idea, nice. So here you can see the first piece of the uh, wheelhouse that you will see after. So this mm-hmm. is the first piece with the legs on top. Okay, okay. So this is the shelter with the cranes. I was interested in the cranes. When I was doing this drawing, Mm -hmm. I started to be curious about the cranes. So I moved and I started to draw how the crane was built. Mm, Okay. Yeah, oh, I remember this one from the talk. I love the the, the detail on the right at the bottom about the crane that moves. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes when you, you are sketching uh, you you start to ask him to yourself but what is this piece uh, how it works and <laughs> uh, so you you can go get deeper and understand something more mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, small pieces uh, <laughs> of iron and my of course my your palette your tools yes, wonderful my- <laughs> the helmet and whatever it needs. Oh yeah, that's important. That's a good <laughs> point. Yeah. 
Okay, this is another sketch uh, that I did in the same position. This, this one that you can see is the railway. Okay. Because it's incredible, but the yard is split into, into areas by the railway. So everything mm. can, must be moved uh, and uh, bypass the railway. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, so, okay, okay. It's very but it's, uh, it's used to, to move things around or... Like yes, yes, it's yeah, okay, okay. to move things, but it's a complication more. But uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> avoid it. That's true. So these are the cranes that were dancing uh, uh, left, right, up and down <laughs> continuously. So I was uh, I had to do this sketch very, very quick. Mm, okay. These are the blocks on their uh, supports and. Uh, as you can see, this is only one floor. Eh? One floor, this is the top. These are the beams of the ceiling. And this uh, will be a door. Okay. Eh, this is the picture of the, the, the blocks. Wonderful. It looks like someone cut it with a huge knife, pum, <laughs> to show the inside. It's really yeah. wonderful. <laughs> okay, this, uh, eh. This is a standard perspective mm -hmm. with a centered vanishing point. Okay. My interest was uh, in these uh, hooks and these ropes that are perfectly laid down uh, in the right order to be hanged up and used with the cranes. Mm -hmm. And let's see the dry dock. The dry dock has uh, the, the bow part uh, around. Mm -hmm. This is a view that, uh, that looks inside. This is the bottom. It's about uh, 12 meter height. Okay. Oh, that's big. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And this is inside the dry dock. Fasc I find this picture fascinating and scary at the same time, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, if, if you have never been inside, you can't imagine, mm -hmm. even if you see the pictures. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't imagine the proportion of these, uh, these ships. As you can see, this side of, uh, the, of the dry dock is very, very close uh, to the, the mm -hmm. sides of the ship. And um, it's very difficult to, to make these uh, ships uh, uh, floating inside, uh, floating inside the, the dry docks when okay. uh, they are fluid. They don't have enough uh, water inside to give the... The, oh, I see. Okay, the, the push that yeah. it can float. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they have to keep the, the ship um, lighter as they can. Otherwise, mm. uh, she, she doesn't uh, uh, float. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. This is the bow part, the bulb at the bow. I, I don't want to be too too more too, too much technical. So <laughs> well, I think it's very fascinating. I can see from the comments that everybody is very interested. Just uh, to tell you the time, we are we still have maybe 20, 25 minutes. So just if this uh, helps you, because we started okay. a bit later. <laughs> I try to be. So but this... I see the comments, everything very positive. So I think it's very interesting. Uh, and we like to hear about these. And if you can give us the ideas about how to look at perspective in during while showing us the sketches, it's perfect. Okay, okay. Uh, you have a look of the comments because I can't uh, read them. So if you see something that must be clarifying, please tell me. Uh, so this is a view in uh, all in. Uh, DJ Doc, uh, I finished this view home. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very long to be done, as you can see, is a watercolor um, complicated. So yeah. I did the drawing uh, in, with the pencil inside and get out, and I complete it home. 
Yeah. Um, I wanted to be safe. <laughs> yeah, I bet. But that's actually something it's interesting to highlight uh, for, for the group is that um, according to that, it, the one that is called the manifesto of the Yurma sketching, you know, not only you have to sketch on location and all these things, but also it is perfectly fine if you do the drawing on location and then you go home or somewhere else to add the colors. So that's still part of what is allowed you know it's strange to be uh, to have rules but you know it's kind of a community that has its own uh, ideas of how to do things and uh, this is like an option so in case like Elisa you're not safe it's probably wise to go somewhere else to color <laughs> also if you feel cold or if you have another commitment you can finish your sketch uh, later in terms of colors only yeah, yeah. What, what I want uh, to, to say is uh, that it's very important that you can do the drawing uh, on place uh, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's, it is your uh, own view and uh, you can, if you do it uh, with a picture, it's not the same. So you can emphasize the, the view. If, you, the, if there is something that catches your attention, you can give the right uh, um, focus on this otherwise uh, it, you you copy and yeah it's, it's not that's true that's so, true that's a very nice way to explain the process thank you that's so really nice first uh, you do the drawing and then uh, keep your time uh, to to add uh, whatever you want but uh, mm -hmm. the first lines must be done uh, in place I, I don't go into the details about uh, the, the pieces of uh, the systems. Uh, uh, because I think we don't have enough time. This is a view of the, the dry dock from top to bottom. And this is the, the door that uh, uh, open the dry dock when they have to put the water inside. Uh, the, the, this, uh, this opening uh, mm -hmm. make the water uh, uh, get inside uh, oh, when, okay. the, when the uh, dry dock is uh, full of water it happens that uh, this piece here that is the, the closing the mm -hmm. door uh, start to flood, float uh, as oh wow I see you. okay <laughs> see, the ship uh, uh, floats and this door too so uh, the remorchiatori, how you say remorchiatori? Uh, that's like the, the workers. <laughs> I don't know the, <laughs> the specific the name. That, uh, that um, pull uh, the, the pieces in the, in the, in the sea. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they pull out uh, the, the door and also the ship. Yeah. Oh, that's that's interesting. Actually, I, I see many questions and many comments which we will uh have uh, once you finish your presentation so okay. guys write down all your questions okay. uh, something that i see is that people ask or think that you should do one day an exhibition or for example i'm thinking about a publication of all this work because it's really interesting so hopefully one day this the, you know this can become even a bigger project so uh, I, I agree with what uh, people are writing in the chat i'm following yeah, while yeah, you speak i try to do it but it's not so easy <laughs> i know i know but one day one day there is interest and uh, this this group here is uh, thinking that that would be really interesting. So okay. that's important. So this is the as I told before. Uh, this is the the sketch with all the details I would, was interested in. This uh, this uh, is not a technical drawing. This this is a view more. Uh, but um, I finish also this one home. Uh, I, you can see here. Mm. This is the yes. completed uh, drawing. I, I put all the details that I like. This is a, I, I was fascinated by the landscape more than, more than the, mm. <laughs> the uh, dry dock. The dock, yeah. yeah. But uh, you, you can start, you can start, take your time and yeah. go home. Yeah. Beautiful, it's really wonderful. So this is a quick sketch uh, that is done uh, on the quay of the ship that is uh, older. Mm -hmm. Now the ship is gone uh, and 
and came back to from the sea trials because it's uh, quite ready. They are in a good, uh, good, uh, mm, how do you say, phase of uh, interior. Uh, mm -hmm. interior. Okay. 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 Uh, these drawings are done in December, so I will. Mm, okay, okay. And this is an open area and uh, the aft part uh, with the grill uh, where people can uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, like uh, a relaxing area. That's yeah. nice. This is, these uh, scaffoldings here, I discovered uh, last time uh, that mm. uh, were. Uh, um, covering a deck with a big hole okay. and a nest and uh, people will jump inside the nest on the open open okay oh, wow. <laughs> because it is a 10 or 12 uh, uh, deck so mm. you have uh, the sea uh, in front of you and you jump inside this nest uh, as you were mm. jumping, bungee jumping, yeah. <laughs> something yeah. like that. Oh my God, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> I would never do it. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is a bit for the heavy, heavy pieces. And this is a good example, in my opinion, for mm -hmm. the perspective. Yes, uh, yeah, please tell us. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's nice. Um, since the, this uh, situation is, uh, I, I was in front of uh, something that was very high. So, mm -hmm. how to emphasize uh, this uh, view uh, is to use the third point uh, at the top. Mm -hmm. So, if you have the ship that is uh, very, very long uh, and is uh, positioned in this way, so of course you use the vanishing point uh, on one side. Okay. But also, if I would if I wouldn't use the vanishing point at top, uh, I wouldn't have a disaster. So this helps you to show when you are in front of something that is very hard and you want to mm. emphasize this view. Okay. So you had the point on the left and one at the top. You have a point on the left, one on the top, mm -hmm. and you can use this one. These two these two points here. Okay. Of course, there is uh, one more on the right. Uh, mm. but is, uh, <laughs> very far. Yeah, it is very far. And you have to use it, of course, to give the depth. Of the oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So you have the, this, the two points, the two sides, as always. But uh, yeah. the ship is laid on this direction, and you see more the point mm, on the left. that side. Yeah. But yeah. uh, of course, you have three, not two. Points. Just, just to say to everybody, um, Elisa is now giving us examples, but she prepared also some schemes for us to teach us about perspective. So, just get ready for the surprise. She made it on purpose for us. So, how amazing! By the way, someone has the microphone on, so if you can please switch it off, otherwise there is this uh, background sound that can be annoying. Thank you. Okay, this is a sketch done inside. This is mm -hmm. a disco, a two-deck height disco. So you okay. have a floor here and the balconies and a bal balcon balcony yeah. uh, all around this disco. <laughs> there is a stage here where uh, the, mm, the dancer has uh, called sound. Sorry, Elisa, sorry if I interrupt you. Uh, signori, se, se per favore potete spegnere i microfoni perché vi sentiamo. Non so. Signori, non, non so se ci, ci sentite, ma noi vi sentiamo. Se potete spegnere i microfoni, per favore. Aspetta, lo guardi. I don't think they can hear me. Per, per favore, spegnete i microfoni. I think it worked. Okay. Oh, we, we can. Sorry, I don't know who are these people. I don't know if Nick can see. I don't know if there is a way to see. Oh, okay. Someone says that we can mute everybody. I like this, Piero. Okay, okay so maybe Nick will look into this while Elisa goes on. <laughs> Sorry, Elisa. <laughs> Please go ahead. No worries, it happened. 
So um, I was telling about something about the stage. That this uh, this drawing is done uh, during uh, um, the, the breaks uh, trials because the stage raise up. The stage yeah. raise up. Uh, and, uh -huh. right up, uh, and the show is done with the dancer that uh, then while are dancing the state uh, comes up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. so uh, just to try that is the breaks of this uh, as, as for an elevator they have to be tested uh, the, the breaks uh, mm -hmm. so they were uh, uh, pulling this dance mm -hmm. uh, water mm -hmm. and like, uh, guarda non fanno entrare nessuno eh. Io non so chi sono queste persone, però per favore se potete spegnere il microfono, altrimenti vi dovremo, se si può fare, eh, togliere dalla chiamata. Uh, Nick, maybe you, you could uh, close the connection for these people. I think Nick found a way to switch us off all of us. So Elisa, you can start your microphone. No, you cannot hear me. Oopsie. <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay. okay. Can you, Can you hear me? Now? Yes. Okay. Good. Perfect. Okay. Let's go okay. on. So, go on. sorry, everybody. Uh, there is someone that doesn't realize that we can hear them. Uh, so, and I cannot understand who they are, but I think Nick solved. Thank you very much, Nick. <laughs> okay. Perfect. <laughs> So this is the, the bow of the, the valiant lady. She's uh, sailing now. She did uh, the, the sea trials. Everything uh, went uh, well. And she went to Marseille and uh, came back. So okay. everybody were happy about it. And now is uh, uh, back to Genoa and completing uh, the fitting. Oh, here I wanted to show the these ropes uh, hooks mm -hmm. that uh, for me were interesting. Yes, I went in the yard for uh, about uh, 20 years and I never pay attention to this. <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so here you can see. Yeah, they are. The yeah, picture. no, they are really cool. Very nice. Very nice. This is uh, just a view of the quay with uh, all the vans that uh, bring uh, pieces, uh, the containers with the coffee machine for the workers uh, and whatever they need. Oh, these are the propellers, my favorite pieces. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, the propellers uh, were in the, uh, on the quay, uh, but uh, will be mounted uh, soon and for sure I will be there. To there, uh, reporting. Yeah, to this just to, to answer quickly to Piero, he's asking if this is a professional assignment or is a pleasure. I mean, this was part of the work that Elisa did to respond to a call from Central Urban Sketches for a call for reportage. There was one last year and Elisa is one of the winners and she's walking us through it now. Uh, and this year there is another call for reportage. So you can have a look at the website of Urban Sketchers and, and see, I think the expiration for the call, I think it closes in May. Just have a look and let me know, I can pass you the link if you would like to create your reportage and, and try to do yes. uh, a work this like a Lisa. May is, uh, the okay, final. okay, perfect. So these are the Azipot. This is a view from the wheelhouse uh, and uh, just before the, the ship uh, left uh, for the sea trials, a few days before. I did, 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 did everything on board. I was lucky because it was a very quiet uh, place. Uh, the, the wheelhouse was uh, quite completed, so mm. I could stay there uh, and take the time I need. And this is the view to the back of the ship, so okay. all uh, the, the boats uh, for uh, the security. Here you can see a container that was mo uh, moved by a crane and they, they were uh, putting something on the upper decks. 
And the, in the meanwhile, I was doing the drawing. I saw this uh, movement I wanted mm, to show. Yes. That's really nice. I mean, I remember this uh, painting because I really like how you use the brush to create the deepness of the, the, the balconies, like there on the right. It's really beautiful. But also this detail on top where you show the movements of this container is really cool. I, I really like it very much. It tells a story. It's a drawing, but it's dynamic. It's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to you. It, it tells the story because I stayed there a lot. So mm. I saw, um, well, I wanted to, to show the, the side of the, the ship, but uh, I saw so many things that uh, I wanted to show, everything, yeah. to show everything. This is the drawing. You see the yard here and the ship uh, on the right. Oh, here there are the, uh, the drawings about the embarkation uh, mm. of uh, the wheelhouse uh, of the youngest uh, ship and uh, uh, after the, the funnel. Uh, here there are the workers. Game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, it's fine. <laughs> the workers are hanging uh, the, the ropes of the cranes uh, to these hooks. And uh, the, the, the same hooks that you saw before. Mm, yeah. Um, these hooks are hanged. This is the, the wheelhouse on the floor that is here. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are the, the hooks here on the top. So after uh, the, the workers did the, this work here, they mm -hmm. moved on the top of the wheelhouse and hanged the ropes on the top. Okay. The, after that, the, the wheelhouse uh, had, has been moved up. So this drawing showed the movement that oh, did the, okay. the cranes. So they hang it on the top, the ropes. There, there were uh, two cranes working together. Okay. Wow, this must be huge and very heavy. <laughs> yeah, and for the funnel, three. Three. Wow. Crane. I see. <laughs> it's incredible how they work in per perfectly um, coordinated. Mm, okay. You can't believe it. Beautiful, like dancers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they raise up and turn the, the, the wheelhouse that was uh, 90 degrees uh, turn on the, mm. on the area. They turn and put in the right position. Wonderful. I can see many, many comments. Uh, I think many uh, friends here are really liking these uh, drawings and explanations. It's it's really wonderful. Thank you, Elisa. It's really, I, really I, good. I think uh, one question that uh, can be, I, I would uh, <laughs> ask, <yeah. laughs> how do you do this drawing uh, wh while they uh, move uh, the wheel? Yes. Because, uh, <laughs> what insurance uh, did you use? <laughs> Um, the, the, the truth is that I prepared, uh, in the meanwhile, uh, they were hanging uh, the ropes on the top mm -hmm. uh, and the, it kept, uh, it kept uh, about one hour because they tried to, to pull, um, they, they changed it, they, um, they, it, it was a long, uh, long uh, period. In the meanwhile, they did this, uh, this, uh, uh, work, I started to prepare the drawing. Okay. So I, I drawn the crane, the ship that was waiting here. Mm, okay, so the things that were st still, let's say, they were not moving. Yeah, I, okay. I prepared the base just to add the movement of the uh, wheelhouse that I, I asked uh, what is mm. the move? I asked to the workers, what will you do? Okay, okay. <laughs> and they told me what would be the movement. So I prepared the, the background to uh, add the movement okay. in while they were doing. There, there is just two very quick questions maybe we can ask about these is that uh, people are asking what type of paper you're using and what is the technique that you use for this drawing? Uh, <laughs> the paper, the paper uh, this one is done. Okay, this one, 
Uh, sorry, but I wanted to share. <laughs> allora, and the paper is uh, the white all over this. That is good okay. for uh, all techniques, uh, quick techniques, not okay. with, uh, with uh, um, watercolor, but the quick uh, sketches is very, very good. Oh, I okay. In gray, blue, and white color. Okay, so I don't know if people already know this type of paper, but I'm sure Elisa can write it in the chat later it, yes, in case yes, you are it, interested. It is yeah. Claire Fontaine. Claire Fontaine paint on, good for everything. Okay, wonderful. Um, <laughs> it looks like you were doing an advertisement. Good for everything. <laughs> so this is the drawing? Yes, okay. And uh, oh, I also use this paper for the watercolors. That is, I found it very good uh, for quick watercolors. Okay. It okay. on uh, smooth uh, paper. Okay. And I gave some color uh, very quickly with the iPad. Uh, in the meanwhile, I was writing mm -hmm. uh, the explanation. Okay, okay. So it's a mix. That's really nice. Okay, yeah. thank you. Just uh, to add the the explanation, I used the the uh, iPad. Yes. So I think you, we, we, we can maybe uh, try to move to... It's very interesting. I'm sure many people want to hear more. But maybe we can move to the explanation about perspective yeah. uh, and then have questions because I see many questions popping out. So we want to have some time to, to okay. ask you things. Sorry, Elisa, you, you will be under the spot. The, don't worry, don't worry. This, uh, I, I finished. This is okay. the same concept for uh, the funnel. Mm -hmm. Lift up the crane web tree and uh, it was turned and moved along the ship till the right position that was here. Okay. Okay, so this is. Oh, wow, funny. it looks like a spaceship, no, um, a, an alien, um, space, yes. you know, uh, how, how do you call it? A shuttle of, of aliens. I don't know, now I don't have the word <laughs> in English. Una navicella dei, dei. Oh, now I cannot speak it's Italian okay. either. Fine, <laughs> it's okay. Let's move to the explanations of Elisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, after that, uh, let's talk about perspective. Yes. <laughs> Okay, this is a scheme uh, for the uh, classical perspective. So you have uh, the two vanishing points mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the lines are vertical. So if you, if you want to draw something that uh, has a rectangular shape, you put it uh, between the two points. You mm -hmm. know that you, the two vanishing points are uh, put on the horizontal line. So first of all, you uh, understand how wide is your horizontal line. Okay. Because it's the first step. Uh, if you are height, your uh, horizontal line is low. Mm -hmm. If you are uh, laid down on the floor, for sure your horizontal line is higher. So this is a middle way. Hmm? If you are very, very, <laughs> small, you will see something that is higher or uh, uh, maybe an aura. He, here I wanted to show if you move this uh, volume here upper, you will see his bottom. So. Lisa, if I, I'm trying to write this in Italian in the chat, but maybe I can give a quick translation okay. here. Well, okay. I mean, okay. Okay. maybe Italian. what translation? You you speak in Italian. There's no, no me no. translating, okay. please. Maybe a quick explanation in <laughs> Italian would in help. Italian. Okay. Bye. Allora, il primo passo, dicevo, è stabilire dove è la linea di orizzonte, che è molto importante da stabilire perché um, i due, punti, I due punti di fuga sono posizionati sulla linea di orizzonte mm -hmm. e più tu sei in alto, più vedrai la linea di orizzonte in basso. Mm -hmm. Quindi quando tu sei alla, alla tua altezza normale, vedi la tua linea di orizzonte più o meno all'altezza degli occhi. Okay. Se ti alzi, vedrai che tutti i tuoi oggetti si muovono, quindi la tua linea di orizzonte scende e vedrai okay. le cose eh, nella loro superficie alta. Mm -hmm. Quindi all'opposto, eh, quando tu sei basso, vedrai che eh, il tuo oggetto è posizionato alto sulla linea di orizzonte. Quindi questa è una sagoma rettangolare che in questo caso è posizionata più o meno a cavallo. 
Mm -hmm. E in questo caso invece è posizionata sopra la linea d'orizzonte. Okay. Allora questo è un caso classico in cui abbiamo i due punti di fuga, destro e sinistro, e le linee sono verticali. Ok. Adesso andiamo allo step successivo. Ok, Next grazie step. Elisa. Thank you Elisa. It's really lovely that she prepared this for us. You see, there is USK Cambridge perspective examples. It's wonderful. And uh, I hope you don't mind that we do English Italian so that everybody um, knows about this. It's really nice. Thank you. One, one point more, I forgot. Yes. Uh, is this one. It is, is very important uh, to understand uh, for uh, an in, in to, to do a view in perspective without using, of course, the construction uh, with all the rules, but it helps uh, to give the right uh, idea of uh, the um, profondità, how you say? <laughs> uh, like the depth. The depth, okay. Yeah. So if your rectangular shape is split in four equal spaces, when you have the surface, someone is moving something very close to the microphone. Allora, <laughs> if you have this, uh, this line here, A, B, is this one, okay? Mm -hmm. If you split in the same equal spaces in perspective, mm -hmm. will not be the same. Okay. So the, uh, the closer is bigger than the last one. Okay. This is very, 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 very useful. Important. Yeah. It happens the same when you use uh, three points. Wait, wait, Elisa, say that very quickly also in Italian, because that's Ooh, a very important point. <laughs> Un ultimo punto qui e poi passiamo all'altro. Qui che è la chiave, mi raccomando, sì. è la chiave di volta, perché allora noi abbiamo il rettangolo. Questo succede quando dobbiamo disegnare dei porticati. Mm. Delle sì, cose in successione sono ripetute sì. sempre uguali con lo stesso passo. Mm -hmm. Allora noi abbiamo in pianta sempre lo stesso passo, ma quando lo andiamo a mettere in prospettiva quello che era lo stesso passo diventa sempre via via sempre più stretto. Mm -hmm. Quindi la misura fra e e sarà inferiore rispetto a tutte le altre e questa è più grande rispetto all'ultima. Perfetto. Questo è molto intuitivo ma aiuta a dare l'effetto della profondità. Certo, certo. Se la si dovesse costruire con tutte le tecniche che i ragazzi al liceo imparano perché devono proprio costruirla con tutte le proiezioni, gli viene la stessa cosa, gli vengono tutte, se via via che si va più lontano vengono più strette, ma noi non possiamo strette, costruire okay. una prospettiva con Beh, certo. le geometriche <ride> perché ci diventiamo vecchi e non facciamo il nostro disegno. Giusto, giusto. <ride> Se posso aggiungere un commento che ho letto una volta e mi sembra molto utile. Quando hai quella prospettiva, il porticato, eh, diciamo di rettangoli o meglio trapezzi che si restringono, le diagonali sono parallele. In questo modo vengono automaticamente più strette, più corte, perché quelle diagonali si incontrano, eh, incontrano le linee di fuga prima. No, in realtà le diagonali sono costruite fra dei quadrati o rettangoli che sono messi in prospettiva, quindi eh, vanno costruite su ciascun rettangolo. Eh, sì, no, però il punto è eh, se ritorni sul disegno precedente si può... Sì. Ehm... Giusto poco perché tanti qui parlano sì. inglese e non ci stanno capendo, oh, quindi sorry. proviamo... Eh, no, no, tu muori. I read in a, a book on the perspective drawing that the a technique to get this shrinking of the shape is to draw a diagonal line from uh, upper right to uh, lower left of the first square of uh, trapezoidal shape and then all the following trapezoidal shape will have the same diagonal, diagonal parallel to the first one. So since the, the upper and lower uh, side are converging in the, uh, in the right viewpoint on the left, you get a smaller uh, height, a smaller uh, uh, length of each uh, shape. Because if you 
try to move to see the diagonal on this point and you see that you get naturally a shorter uh, uh, opening of the arc of the square. This is very detailed. I think, you know, it is a few, uh, you know, because we are already a bit late, but it's very interesting. Okay. So, yeah, no, I, you know, I, I really appreciate. Um, I'm Thank sure you. during the session of drawing, if Elisa can stay, she can answer a bit about this uh, in, in details, you know, if it's okay, fine with yes. you. Yes, yes, yes. I'll stay Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, here you have the two vanishing points as before, but... Uh, I introduced the, the third one. So uh, if you have to emphasize the height uh, of what are you, you are uh, drawing, uh, what happens that uh, you can use the third point and uh, the vertical lines become uh, sloped and go mm -hmm. all vertical lines go to this point. And happens the same uh, as before. So the closer uh, dimension is bigger, but happens the same on the, the vertical side. So what is uh, closer to you is bigger. And uh, if you go up, you will have a smaller uh, dimension. Okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. To, to me, yes, I'm, I'm sure there will be maybe questions, but we can go on and people can ask questions. Yes, okay. yeah, this is also Next very step. useful. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the <laughs> uh, curved line. So curved line, when do you use them? When, when you are very close to the subject and you want to bump, to, to make it, very close to you, mm, okay. or uh, you are uh, mm, turning from to have uh, a fish eye view, as I, I did uh, in the yard when I showed the shelter on one oh, side. Okay. And yes. The yes. Mm. If you do the, the straight lines, you can't show everything. The space is curved and you can show it curved. So the difference between these two view is uh, that uh, this part, uh, this volume has uh, straight lines uh, and this one uh, curved line. Mm. It goes uh, to the, the two points, of course, but uh, make uh, the effort completely, completely different because this is a flat surface. I shown with a flat uh, light here. Mm -hmm. And this is a curved, a, a, a tree, uh, um, a, a double, uh, double uh, curved line surface, okay? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the light are different uh, when you, you use uh, this uh, curved oh, line. Oh yes, it will be like a point in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So this is uh, a, a curved surface, it's not flat. Okay. And um, uh, I, I think uh, people are asking like a fisheye, yes, yes, exactly, yes, yes. Is, yes. Is the, the concept you of... can also explain it in Italian if you want, so oh, yes. uh, don't worry. <laughs> well, I was talking about this in Italian, I explained this one. Oh yeah, true, we didn't talk about this in Italian, yes, okay. Allora, quando introduciamo il terzo punto di fuga, che può essere o in alto se siamo bassi e guardiamo una torre, o in basso se siamo in cima a un grattacielo e stiamo guardando il paesaggio in basso, mm -hmm. allora succede la stessa cosa delle linee che noi abbiamo sulla eh, orizzontale, ovvero gli spazi che sono vicino a noi sono più grandi, quindi al primo piano avrò l'interpiano che ho alla piano terra sarà più grande se io vado a fare la proiezione sono sempre più piccoli mm -hmm. le quindi per dare questo effetto anche se non lo costruisco io devo ricordarmi che i piani al ventesimo non saranno mai alti come la terra <ride> ok ok chiarissimo <ride> ecco. e questo qui introduce invece il discorso delle linee curve anziché rettilinee che mi aiuta a enfatizzare eh, la vista di qualcosa che ho molto vicino o quando voglio ehm, cambiare il mio punto di vista muovendomi quindi mm -hmm. se voglio per esempio guardare dall'alto verso in basso o da destra verso sinistra 
se uso le linee dritte esco dal foglio. Okay. Quindi per rappresentare lo spazio e dare più e dare l'idea di questo movimento, di questa vista a fisciai, introduco mm -hmm. la linea curva. Ok, grazie. Niente. E quindi questo è uno schema riassuntivo che ci fa vedere una vista dal basso verso l'alto, quindi io sono nella mia situazione dentro un portico, poi lo dico in inglese. Ok. <ride> vado in italiano e vado avanti così. E adesso qui sono dentro il mio portico e guardo verso l'alto, quindi questa è la mia situazione con le linee dritte. Quindi io sono in basso, guardo il mio portico verso l'alto, vedrò gli intradossi degli archi. Ok. E qui invece ho il discorso delle linee curve, quindi è, è tutto più panciuto, è più vicino, mm -hmm. si capisce mm -hmm. la differenza. Lo stesso sì. discorso se guardo verso il basso, sono un uccellino qua sopra, guardo giù, che cosa vedo? Vedo la pancia delle colonne e vedo il punto di fuga al nadir. E qui invece quando voglio fare un effetto fisheye. Ok. La stessa cosa quando voglio fare una vista destra-sinistra, sono in mezzo a un porticato, voglio vedere cosa succede alla mia destra, voglio vedere cosa succede alla mia sinistra, ho un punto di fuga di qui, ho un punto di fuga di lì, ma io devo unirle per cui le mie linee orizzontali diventeranno curve. Perfetto, chiarissimo. Adesso lo traduci tu in inglese. Certo, a farlo, a farlo poi, chiarissimo a sentire, a farlo poi col cavolo. E la traduzione, la mia linea non funziona bene, mi sa che devi parlare tu. Ok, this is a short, uh, just a two, short translation about uh, the view from bottom to top, the typical situation uh, in, a, in a porch, in uh, how you call uh, porticato porch. Mm. I, I don't know. Uh, English people, how would you call this architectural? Porch. Yeah. We say portico. Porticate. Okay. Perfect. Portico. Thank you. Ah, it's a portico. 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 Perfetto. Okay, a portico. <laughs> well, I think we'd use the Italian word. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Perfetto. <laughs> Quindi, here you can see the lower part of the arches and these are the straight lines that uh, go Um, at uh, Zenith mm -hmm. and this is uh, the curved version uh, with uh, something that is uh, emphasized. The same thing uh, watching down if you were a bird so you see something that uh, goes on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you are on the top you see the nadir point here. So the columns go all to this point here and uh, with the curved lines uh, this is the effect uh, of the fish eye and the third uh, example is uh, uh, when you are in a porch and you want to see what happens on your left and on your right so you have a vanishing point here and one vanishing point here and you have the porch the portico that uh, turn on these curved lines. You mm -hmm. couldn't do straight because uh, otherwise you, you don't see the two, the two sides. Yes, of course. But it, it happens if you, if you do it, uh, <laughs> believe, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> you need an infinitive paper, like very, very long. <laughs> From anybody? Yes, one more thing uh, yes. I wanted to say is uh, that uh, if we have to make a drawing uh, indoor, uh, mm -hmm. um, Uh, I suggest to imagine to be in a street uh, looking up uh, to the building that we have uh, on the sides. So if you lay down or sit down on the floor and look at uh, your bookshelf uh, or a table or something, you will be in the same situation. Try to, to imagine to be uh, in a street and do it the yeah. same. Uh, if I sit down uh, on the back of my bookshelf and on one side, Mm -hmm. I, I have all the surface uh, in the same situation. Is a building, a facade uh, with all the windows, uh, all the doors. True, yeah. <laughs> Just there will be your books and maybe souvenir from the trips that are coming out of the windows. But yeah, <laughs> no, it's a very nice idea. And uh, I, I like also when you said before, if you are a bird, 
you know, from up high. So you can look maybe at your table at home and feel like you're yeah. a bird flying and trying to draw, which is a very strange image. So yeah. I would say now we can have some questions. My question was about the boat building right? rather than the, the, the drawing. I really, I really loved seeing all the pictures of the dockyard and fascinating place where you would never normally go. So you were talking a lot about the ship had to be very light when the water comes in, very lightweight. Um, uh, so does, does it mean the ship is just basically an empty shell? It's just like the shell on the outside? No, it's not only a shell, but mm. uh, uh, there are all the pieces that I shown uh, when I started. Uh, so it has the uh, decks? All the layers, uh, yes, all um, the decks, uh, the steel uh, and the system too. Mm. Um, but uh, uh, the fitting is not uh, started. Okay. Yeah. You know, the, the cruise ships uh, mm. are fitted with uh, also a heavy materials as marbles, uh, mm. uh, all the furniture, uh, the, the small boats for the security, uh, the, the small cranes that uh, hang up uh, the, yeah. these boats. Uh, everything mm. is uh, uh, fitted after uh, uh, mm. The ship is uh, out of the, the dry dock. Pro probably it doesn't, prob doesn't flo uh, float. They probably have many pianos as well. Uh, yes, the, uh, <laughs> sometimes it happens that uh, uh, sometimes it happens that the ship is too heavy and they have yeah. to over <laughs> really to something to make yeah. it uh, floating. Ah. Did you did you actually see the water come in and the ship start to float? Yeah. You did? Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that must have been amazing. I also saw the, the naming ceremony, the, oh. the, the, the how, how you call the... Vibe. Naming ceremony, Launch, launching. Not the, the, the launch, the launch. The launch yeah. I saw the launch also on the, the sloped surface, uh, mm -hmm. the, in the old, uh, old way, mm. because there are uh, yards that uh, do it uh, also in these days uh, for mm. smaller ships. Uh, and yeah. uh, the uh, I saw also this one is is amazing because uh, yeah. uh, you see also the smell of uh, uh, the, the uh, um, atrito. How you call atrito, Federico? Mm. <laughs> the workers. Yeah, the went friction, went to surface friction friction. 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 friction friction. Thank you. Oh, okay, yeah. Friction. The friction that the ship does uh, on the surface uh, they put uh, ah. <laughs> um, the um, grasso is uh, grease is, uh, grease yes. uh, uh, to, to make it uh, um, to, to so they can you can slide in yes. the water yeah yes but uh, it's incredible and also the the, the yard and the ship uh, Mm, say hello with uh, the, the uh, siren. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the, the the siren or the horn? Would you call it a horn, horn? for a yeah. boat? You know, like yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, well, a, a big mess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, I can imagine, must be amazing. I mean, and uh, I, I lived in Genova for a few years, you know, and um, uh, the, the port is a very nice area to go, but uh, I think I, I know in where is located in all this area where you are where you are building boats, uh, but I, I I'm really uh, looking forward to coming back to Genova as soon as it's possible to travel to meet you and also to, to go to see uh, more of Genova also from this different eye. So uh, that's really fascinating. Sorry, this is a very personal thing. No, <laughs> there is a question from Michele about whether you had any troubles, any problem in accessing these sites that are so dangerous to access to. Yes, is uh, you can't uh, access in this uh, yard if you are uh, not uh, allowed to. Do. Um, I I usually work with the yard, so they know me and uh, they give me a special pass uh, every time I yes. Otherwise, I have a, a pass for uh, if I work on a ship uh, for a building, I have a, a pass that uh, uh, make me uh, get in uh, every day. But uh, this is not the the, the time. Yeah. yeah. So she was brave for us to create this reportage. Yes. <laughs> and uh, no, it's it's really interesting. Thank you. This is very important. Elisa will stay with us and she will be at the end with us uh, looking at our sketches, giving us feedback.
So who would like to show their drawing first? Well, I'm, I'm going to kick off because um, mine is a very scratchy, unfinished because I because of the dog and because I'm not very fast. So um, here I am. Um, nothing can be scratchier than this. Oh, that's me. Um, there we go. I just started sketching my kitchen. Um, oh wow! It's nice. Good. Yeah, that's so, great, Daisy. Well, I was think I was just I was much more thinking about the. So I've got lots of perspective lines on there that if I was carrying on, um, for example, this cupboard there, this cupboard there isn't really checked, but that's my perspective lines. So I was doing it really much more to just explore the perspective than to mm -hmm. um, get a finished drawing. Uh -huh. And um, I figured I had probably about four vanishing points, you know, by the time I took into account the different planes of the cupboards and that. So I just was putting a bit of detail in for fun really but isn't that the saucepans aren't perspective uh, my opinion is a, a really good job uh, she used uh, the the vanishing point uh, on the horizontal line and it's perfect and um, next time if you want to do one once again mm. maybe you can add uh, the the third vanishing point uh, uh, sit down on the floor and try yeah. to do it uh, watching up yeah but it's uh, I really like how simple that is and effective. It's, a, it's an attic. Oh, an attic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where he's drawing and having his corner, you know. Mm. Where he can okay. Nice. With the Velux windows, yeah. The roof windows. Very nice. Show us, show us. So yeah, where, where have you been? I, I, I went for a bit where the perspective would be obvious. So it's yeah. by the side of Jesus Lock Bridge. Yes, yeah. From the foot okay. Okay, happen. yeah. It's very small. Hang on. <sighs> yeah. Hello. Oh, cool. yeah. oh, yeah. Beautiful. What, can I show one I did earlier? Yes, yes of course. Of course. Yes. You've got so many you did oh, earlier. Oh, also, okay. <laughs> Do it. Looking up. Looking down. Okay. Very good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, very good. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. You, Jimmy, you did this one right now, or was it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, I was scary. <laughs> and do we any far? Do we? Do we any far? Look at this one. Dal basso. Oh my gosh! Bello, bello. Yeah, Jim is Inside of a house. He likes a lot this uh, perspective and a very hey, good, detailed. Oh, People hey. catching in the same place like two, three times. Un, 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 un villaggio. Bravo, Jim. Bravo, good, very good. Very that he, he tried ex exaggerating the perspective of his kitchen uh, mm. to try to do what Elisa was advising during the call. Sì. Mm. Mi piace. <laughs> Jim Mauro is uh, commenting that yeah it's uh, it's true it's really nice also because you can apply it also on landscape uh, so in any anything you're drawing you, you can apply perspective absolutely <laughs> okay Ma Mauro is explaining that he's uh, more used to paint uh, very detailed uh, things but he likes trying sketchy so he tried today to be more sketchy I feel, uh, I feel. more spontaneous first Oh, that's beautiful. Bello. Oh, that's so delicate. That's, that's, that's great. Really it's, just, uh, it's just a hole outside the door. <laughs> yes. Really it's, yeah. it's got a good which light. Which delicate is what color? Yes. Color. Color. Yes. yes. Yeah, which colours have you used, Andrew? Colors. Which just ones? Uh, but uh, it's... it's uh, I ran out of time. I was I'm rushing it a bit. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Which which two colours did you use, Andrew? Um, I used a Payne's grey and a, a, a an orange. I'm not sure what the uh, orange was, but like a like a um, a light red. Mm, okay, yeah. I oh, think it's oh, lovely. It's got it's very delicate and, lo and a lovely light. Yeah. Yes. Really uh, well, I guess I was trying to get the darks and lights, but yeah. um, 
Yes, it's it's got a little bit flat, but <laughs> I spent too long drawing, not <laughs> enough painting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's already impressive that you could do both, actually. <laughs> you could do both the drawing and the painting quite yeah. complete with only two colors. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you did yes. that. Yeah. <laughs> it feels was... like a monster face with the eyes <laughs> and the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and the nose. Uh... Yeah, yeah, so... that's the... The, the back outside my back doors, it was too cold to go further afield. I didn't lie on the ground, but sort of down here. The problem is to get the perspective below you. I tried mm. to get down as low as I could. So I sort of invented a bit from down mm. to the bottom okay. all the way up to the top. But, and the sky isn't that color. It's actually gray, but. Uh, ah. <laughs> mm. It's amazing. Yeah, but it, but it's to do. Anyway, good idea, the perspective. But, but is oh, your right house really that scary? Sorry? Is your house really that scary? It is, yes. yeah. Look at those black windows. Ooh, you can't the muddles inside. <laughs> Francesca, she said oh, that okay. she's, she's like um, a, a beginner. Uh, hmm. okay. So she would like to show us her drawing. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Oh. Lovely, beautiful. Okay. Brava. It's probably the perspective that I have here, on the other part, of course. She's saying mm. it's exactly what she sees in front of her now. Esatto, quello che vedo davanti a me. Ok, it's eh, really like that. Uh, okay. It has the idea of the, per the perspective. Fulvia was a bit afraid that she made mistakes, but Elisa told her that it's right. So you see, it's good that she tried. It's good. It's good. Bravo, bravo. Allora. It's a long time I wanted to try to draw the chimney on the roof around uh, my house, mm. but it's really difficult to have. A, all this because there is not a, a simple uh, a vanishing point and so on. No. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think each of the chimney is uh, good for uh, an exercise. But of course. Uh, overall, uh, okay, <laughs> I like it, but uh, it's, it's not possible to do a, a, a naturated drawing. Uh, a, a, a rendering very yeah very and common. also in, in so short time right so uh, it's it was really difficult also for that yes i tried so I... also to to see in the picture what was possible i found mm. a few line aligning the yeah. top of the chimney but it's not uh, not easy, not easy, but I think, I mean, of course, I'm not, you know, I'm not Elisa, so in my opinion, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> in my too. <laughs> I would like to show you, Elisa. No, I try to Thank add you. some Thank wash. You. This Thank is you a very much. of pencil. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I try to apply what you know from perspective. Mm -hmm. And I think we, I have, well, I live in this building that has like a courtyard. So I sit down, sat down on the courtyard and the, like the horizontal lines of, of, the, of the building, which uh -huh. reminds me of, of the cruise. So this is like- Wow. Wow, it's a whole <laughs> picture. I think oh. I was able to finish. I still need one facade. So I think I, I've never oh, tried this type of... oh. Come in. That's amazing. Esagerato. That is so good. Yeah, I said in a solito, it's better to see them than those of the others. But also what is, what is incredible is that Axel just, just woke up because it's very early there where he is. So, you know, when he's sleepy and he's drawing this way. Okay, okay. So it's like a warm up for you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I learned a lot from you, Elisa. Uh, the picture of Axel, which um, uh, I see is not paper, right? It's, it's like cardboard. Ah, okay, that's I right. use the recycled cardboard from one of my blocks because I had like different uh, colors of paper, but I wanted to make it on this type of color on the como si dice cartone? Uh, cardboard. 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 
So, yeah, because in red, it wouldn't look, um, the, the colors don't look as contrasty as like in a, a more opaque, let's say, um, mm. mostly same. I'm forgetting English now. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. We all do that. With a more neutral color, it's better to get the pigments. Uh, Marianne? There she is. Okay, I think we cannot hear you. I don't know if you can activate the microphone because I think... Sorry, I didn't... Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, so I'm slow. I never got beyond actually drawing. And also the hands are all as each other. So I had lots of different vanishing points. Oh my God, yeah. Can now, you imagine? It's a, it's a view out of a window, which I've tried many times. Mm -hmm. So I just keep trying and trying to get the perspective. So it, it's an extremely good exercise in perspective. Um, and it's nowhere near finished. So I'm, I'm going to wait for a nice warm day and uh, try and finish it. Yeah, and also you are very patient with going into all these details. Uh, uh, yeah, I, mean, I suppose like so. with these roofs, right? All these details. Uh, yeah. 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 Really good. Yeah. <laughs> this is my. Um, uh, the, the, I was sitting on the floor, and uh, um, this is the the, the ceiling, uh, wood ceiling, and uh, I tried to get the, the library as you as you suggested, and mm -hmm. um, I I don't know. I, I tried to do this. I don't know. It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's good that you tried. I mean, yeah, we yeah. we had some people laying down on the floor, so it was funny. At some point, there were many cameras on, rooms empty because everybody was on the floor. So that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> but thank you, Federica. That's that's nice. And I did one. I tried to go outside uh, mm -hmm. from, from below, but uh, it was drizzling, so I stayed under the porch. And mm, I, okay. Uh, what I saw, nothing to be proud of. So, oh, Mara, it's good and uh, it's nice that you have a garden where you can go that's really oh yes we, we live in the country oh wow nice yeah. on a hill okay that's windy it. windy windy <laughs> yes um just to say uh, uh, for federica and um, the black and white drawing uh, and she donated the bookshelf uh, as she has it in her mind, uh, instead of a was, uh, she was uh, uh, watching. Uh, just try to draw what you see, not what you have in your mind. It, this is your idea of, of bookshelf. It, this is not what you see. Not what you see. Um, yes, it's absolutely correct. Uh, you always, you get... <laughs> Beccata, beccata, she called you. <laughs> Explain, so uh, the, the, the line are, are um, so I had to do a very, I, I would have to do. Very uh, you see the, the perspective lines on the floor. Ah, you I have see. the perspective lines and the bookshelf goes in, in a different direction. Maybe it, it is aligned. But also with uh, the, um, the vanishing point, and maybe there is something wrong in the position of the horizontal, the horizon line. Maybe the, the bottom of the bookshelf should be flat. So I see Anna is showing her drawing. There she is. Oh, Anna. beautiful. Che bei colori. Bello, nice bello. colors. Hello. <laughs> the view from my chair out the window. Oh, beautiful. Uh, but I looked at it too straight on. I should have gone to a corner maybe to make it more or, interesting. Or on the floor, on the floor. <laughs> oh, I went on the floor for the, for the table just to play with that perspective. Mm. That's cool. Really cool. Where, where are you from? Um, near Potter's Bar, North London. Okay, okay. So I'm with the London Urban Sketches. Okay, well, welcome, welcome in the group. <laughs> so the next person. Hello, Carla, ciao. 
Ka si vede? Kavier? Kavier? Uh, Parla, ciao. Oh, scusami. Ah, <laughs> Sorry, I see another no. name. <laughs> The bathroom. <Yeah>. Bellissimo. <laughs> uh, I tried to do a fish eye. Okay. In my life, so it's the terrace view outside the, um, from my terrace. Yes. And so left and right in one picture with this. Oh, that's view. really difficult, but it's very clear the view. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Uh, where are you from, if I can ask? I don't uh, like. From, from Bavaria, Regensburg. Oh, I see. Okay. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> My father is saying that he's really tired. He's really tired because he had to empty all the shelves to draw them, so he's very tired. In onore proprio. Ma qui c'è anche il c'è un pianoforte che aspetta Federica. Oh yes, the, the, oh, bellissimo. Yeah, yeah, bellissimo. That's uh, that's my piano at my parents' place. That yeah, he says it's waiting for me to play it a bit when I go there. Yeah. We have um Paola. Ciao. Ciao. Sorry, che non, non riesco a vedere il tuo nome, perdonami. Paola Minto. So, Paola, 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 uh, Paola is from the group of uh, Genoa where Elisa is and yes, uh, yes. she's uh, she's mm. trying to do um, the drawing of her library. I think it's really nice. So thank you very much. So yeah, I'm Alexandra from from Urban Sketchers Paris. And I, I'm also Italian, but oh, I see. So, okay. <laughs> so this is my library. I was sitting on the floor, but there's, there are not so many extreme lines, unfortunately. <laughs> it's really good. It's, it's really nice. It's with uh, uh, ink. Mm. Okay, non, non ti sentiamo, quindi magari se vuoi parlare puoi attivare il microfono. We cannot... E mi hai tutti. chiamato Elisa Saint-Just come mi chiamavi una volta. Sì, però guarda, ho messo, messo tutti e due, perché per me tu sei sempre Elisa Saint-Just. <ride> Thank you. Um, Prego, yeah. grazie a voi. Eh. Grazie Elisa. Thank you. Ciao. 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 Drawing from, uh, fantasy, so. Ho avuto un po' qualche dubbio sulla posizione del tavolo. Adesso non so se... Eh, si vede, insomma, lo devo mettere un po' più. If you are okay with that, we could say goodbye because it's uh, difficult to see all the drawings. There are so many. So we will maybe ask you uh, to share them on, your, um, on our Facebook page, if it's a, a new Urban Sketch, and also on Instagram. Everybody, please remember to share your sketches and use these tags, but in particular this hashtag, USK Cambridge so that I can find them and I can repost them on our page, because usually we like to repost all the sketches that you do. So maybe now we can all show our sketches. E se facciamo oh, vedere tutti gli sketch in webcam, uh, Nick farà una foto di tutti noi con il disegno. And uh, yes. <laughs> Baby Yoda. Okay, wait a second, because we have a couple of pages of guests, so um, uh, Nick will uh, take some pictures of all of us. Che bello Federica dal basso, fantastico. <laughs> I tried, Bravo, I tried. Federica, bello. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry really, guys, if there is no time to see all the sketches. They look really cool, and I'm very, very, really curious to see them, so please share them. Perdonateci se non c'è tempo per vederli tutti, siamo veramente in tanti, però condivideteli sui social così li vediamo e anche se non sono perfetti fa niente. Grazie a tutti. Ne parliamo e impariamo. Even if they are not perfect, it's good because people can comment and learn a lot. So be brave, just go with it. Ok? Esatto. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. Grazie, Elisa, Federica. Grazie a tutti. Grazie, grazie, grazie. Thank you Elisa. For grazie. sharing your knowledge, your research, your knowledge. Grazie, Ciao. 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 Ciao.